Hey, I'm Scott Kennedy, and I spent last week in Mobile at the Senior Bowl, and I want to talk to you about the five guys who I think helped their draft stock the most. At number five, we have Stevie Tui Colovato. He is a massive run stuffer at six foot one and 350 pounds, and he told us he believed the men in this game play inside the box. And make no mistake about it, he's a grown man. He's 350 pounds, but he is a solid 350 from his calves all the way through his shoulders. He was incredibly consistent from day to day, making big plays in the running game, even when he was double teamed. His lateral quickness and ability to hold the ground against double teams mean his stock is rising. At number four, we have Chad Williams of Grambling State. At six foot and a half and 204 pounds, Williams is a strong physical receiver who helped his draft stock as much as anyone in attendance. Williams not only held his own against big school defensive backs, he flourished. Williams showed an extra gear with the ball in his hands and a willingness to mix it up in traffic to fight for a ball. Williams was quiet during the game, but his play during the week spoke volumes. At number three, Alex Anzalone of the Florida Gators. Checking in at six foot three and 240 pounds, Anzalone showed he has the size to play inside linebacker in the NFL. His instincts and aggression shined during 11 on 11 scrimmages. And while the defense wasn't allowed to tackle to ground, that didn't stop Anzalone from being in on every play and arriving with an audible pop of the ball carrier's pads. Smart, fast, aggressive, and strong, Anzalone showed all of the traits a team will look for in an inside linebacker. At number two, running back Kareem Hunt of Toledo. Hunt showed a different aspect of his game each day of practice as he continually impressed. First, he checked in at a solid 5'10 and a half and 208 pounds. And then on the first day of practice, he showed excellent hands, so it was no surprise to see he caught 41 passes at Toledo last year. On the second day of practice, he got to show a burst and a change of direction in the open field that he didn't have the chance to show in scrimmages on day one. And then on game day, he led all rushers with 15 carries for 121 yards. And at number one, there may not have been a player on either squad who helped himself as much as Zay Jones of East Carolina. A shade under 6'2 and 202 pounds, Jones has terrific size and strength. He started the week by catching everything near him and showing a burst after the catch beyond any of his peers. He finished the week with the coaches trying to find ways to get him the ball on sweeps and screen passes. Jones was the best receiver of the week on either the North or the South, and he led the North in receiving with six catches for 68 yards and a touchdown during the Senior Bowl.